the seven, seven Maya Villa Legacy Packs. And then we have a, oh my God, we have a stolen AJ Styles. What is good everybody, today we are back with another WWE action figure toy hunt. Feel like it's been quite a minute since we went on a toy hunt, so I'm excited to go out there, see if they actually have some stuff. Haven't really been toy hunting, been very busy, you know, between vacations and such. Haven't had an opportunity to hit my stores around my area, man, so it should be a fun time. We're going to go hit the stores. Hopefully, we will find some stuff at Walmart. Still on the look for the Monday Night War Series 2 figures. Definitely want to get those in there, build the Teddy Long figure. And then as far as Target, don't think there's anything I'm looking for at Target. We, we finally found the Legends. They finally put them out on the pegs. I'm not looking for the Chase Yokozuna. I'm not looking for the Chase Hulk Hogan. I have pretty much everything that I want out of Target, unless they drop the, you know, the SmackDown 4-pack would be amazing to stumble upon just crazily like that. That would be cool, but nonetheless, man, we're going to get in the car. We're going to go over there, see if we can actually find some good stuff, but we're going to hit up Walmart first. Hopefully, they have some good things. I'll see you guys in the car. I'm going to shut the hell up, and uh, let's get into it. All right, man, store number one. I'm excited. Haven't been here in a while, so hopefully, they'll have some good stuff, man. Let's find out. All right, guys, here we go. Let's see what we got right here, man. All righty, we got... We got some Chase Superstars. We got Katana Chance right here. I've never seen this in person. Interesting. We got Katana Chance. We got another Katana Chance. Oh, Seth Rollins right there. Nice little Seth Rollins. Love this gear. Wish it was an Elite. Hate to see it. But I think I already ordered this on eBay or something, so I'm not gonna buy it here today. We got Seth Rollins again. We have Kevin Owens. We have Shayna. We have, ooh, Ted DiBiase. I can't remember if the black or the green suit is the Chase. I think this is in the same wave. Yeah, AJ, Seth Rollins, Katana Chance, and then Ted DiBiase, I think, is the Chase. And speak of the devil, we have the Chase, or is this the regular version? Good-looking head sculpt on that figure, though. We have this Ted DiBiase, and we have the black suit Ted DiBiase. We also have Alexa Bliss Ultimate Edition, which is bleh. We have another Chase Superstars Hogan. Dude, that, is this shelf warming now? I mean, it's kind of an oddball, but... We do have EO Sky Elite 105. We have Andre the Giant. We have, dude, it's so freaking junky. My God in heaven. Another Chase Hogan, Andre the Giant, Andre the Giant, and Doink. So that set's kind of shuffling right here. We have 3,200 rebound rings. We have a Roman Reigns. I need to get another Kendo Stick deal. We have The Rock. We have AJ Styles from the same wave. AJ Styles, AJ Styles, Shayna. Another Seth Rollins. We got Katana Chance again, Katana Chance again. Seth Rollins again, Seth Rollins again. AJ Styles, AJ Styles. We have, oh, finally, something new in a battle pack. My God. China and Trish have been here for 552 years. But this is brand new, man. Never seen this in person. I mean, besides WrestleMania, but look at the head sculpt. Got the brand new Austin Theory. WrestleMania 39. Flat gear, man, flat gear, but... Good looking head sculpt on Theory. That's the Elite 110 head sculpt. Do I need this though? I don't know. I'm, I'm on the fence on that one. I might buy this. I might get this. Oh, we also have the other part of the pack. Gunther with the Intercontinental title with the Gunther side plates and Rey Mysterio in the black and gold. I don't know how I feel about this one. So we don't have Jay and Roman. I don't see Jay and Roman yet, but pretty cool. I mean, it's all right. I don't like the head sculpt there and that's pretty plain figure, but the IC title is cool. Cool to see this in person. Cool to also see this in person. It's got the Theory United States side plates, but I don't know. Let's keep looking. Let's keep looking. What do we else we got? We got Hogan, Hogan, Hogan Chase again. Four or five chases here. Seems like doink, doink. And another Chase Hogan. Christ on a bike, man. Lord have mercy. They're blaring F and Taylor Swift in here, but we do have Unrivaled 14. We have Ricky Starks. We have, oh my God, dude, these Nyla Roses have been here for 30 years. I don't know what's been here longer. These or the Nyla Roses. We have Scott Steiner Elite 105. We have Matt Jackson, Matt Jackson, Matt Jackson, and Matt Jackson, Walmart exclusive. We have Tony Football Storm looking good there. We have Nick Jackson, we have Max Caster, and we have Nick Jackson. So new Keith Lee, no Billy Gunn Chase, unfortunately. We have another Rebound Ring, another Ultimate Alexa Bliss. We have an Ultimate Charlotte Flair right here. This is the Greatest Hits version right here, the re-release. Pretty good figure, but don't need it. Do not need it. Hate to see it, but still cool to see in person, I guess. Still have all the Supreme Pentas right here. They haven't left. Still five of these. That's crazy. Can't believe there's still five of those. That's absolutely ridiculous. Come down here, we have literally 12 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The seven, seven Maya Villa Legacy Packs. And then we have a, oh my God, we have a stolen AJ Styles. 
sickening behavior, man. What are we doing? Why? Did, I guarantee it's the same person between both Walmarts. This is not the Walmart that they usually steal from. This is the other one. We have the kickout ring, which is okay. We have Austin and his monster truck. They just have like an overstock of everything. It's like a hundred figures. No real elites, really. You know, no, no real elites. You have a couple ultimates that are eh. You have Supreme Penta. You have some unrivaled figures, which aren't a trash selection. You know, not a terrible, terrible selection I've ever seen. Pretty stacked Walmart for the most part. I mean, it's so stacked that there's things piled on top of each other. So, you know, it is what it is. But do I want to get this? This is the ultimate question because I would get this Rollins, but I already have one on the way. So I don't want to waste the money. I, like, I don't need another one. Do not need another one. Even though it is a cool figure, I have one coming. So I'm going to wait on that. Uh, I don't need any of these Superstars figures. Having Ted here is pretty cool, but I don't think I'm going to take Ted either because we have elite versions of them, and it just would be, I don't know, pointless to, to a certain extent. So, I don't know. Did I look behind this? I did. Okay. Katana Chance, I may sit on that. I'm not going to pay full retail, I don't think, but we will see. This is the only question mark I have, so we will see. I just, I would pick this up possibly, but I don't know, not enough in the pack to really warrant anything. If that head sculpt was good, probably head swap for an elite, but the head sculpt's kind of trash, so, eh. I think we're going to grab this, maybe. I don't know. Find out at the end. I think that wraps up our Walmart location, man. We're on to the next one. All right, you can't see it, but we're at Super Target. It's behind that bush over there. Why is that bush there? I can't see. Anyways, man, let's go in here. I'm not really looking forward to anything at Target, so I'm not really hyped to go in here. I'm not having high expectations, but you never know, Brad. You never know. It is a MDT toy hunt, by the way. All right, guys, here we go. We got this giant pallet thing here. I don't know what the hell's going on there, but... Uh, it doesn't look very promising. Katana Chance following me everywhere. We got Hogan in the chases. It doesn't look like we do. They are on clearance. We got Captain Lou, Captain Lou, the Sultan, and the Sultan. So, no Muhammad Ali, which shocks me. And then we have Elite, Top Picks, John Cena, re release of Elite 95. Man, not good, man. Not good stuff. 1379. Not a bad price, but. I don't think I need extras of this, you know? I don't need an extra Hogan. I don't need an extra Captain Lou. I already got one extra. Oh, my God. That did not sound like I thought it would. Darth Vader mask. Uh, Donatello mask. Just trash, man. Trash. They don't have a John Brown thing. Lots of turtle stuff. We got... What a disappointment. One thing that I want to do is go check the NECA section, though. I always come over here and they never have a John Brown thing. It's always the same stuff over and over. Like, look at this stock, man. They have so much, but nothing I really need. I thought this was amazing, though. Look how big this thing is. It's a giant Joker mobile. Like, humongous. Humongous. Anyways, besides the Joker mobile, which I don't think I'm going to buy here today, I think I might buy it later just for shits and giggles. But that is it, man. And then for Marvel Legends, all this has been a drought, man. These Iron Men have been the only things here forever. It's been a massive drought of Marvel Legends. So that's Doc Ock, and it looks like they finally moved him too. So, not looking good, man. Not looking good. All right, fellas, there we go. This is all we got, man. This is all we could possibly find today. But I think it's still a worthy pickup. Would you get out of the bag? And here it is, the Austin Theory John Cena 2-pack from WrestleMania 39. Again, the attire is a bit flat. I don't like the look of the basics. I, you know, this will be a cool John Cena to have because we never will get it in elite form, I don't think, unfortunately. You know, I don't think they can do the hat and the shirt and stuff. You know, they can, I guess they can kind of get away with the stuff on the armbands because it's so small and whatnot. But in terms of, you know, the details and plus the forces here, look at that, dude. Those, that looks, dude, that's not accurate, is it? I thought they painted those differently. He was wearing those custom Air Force Ones, so I don't know what the hell's going on there. I don't know, like, I could have swore, even on the figure itself, when we saw it, I'm pretty sure they had all the coloring right. It's just the, the logos weren't on there, but maybe I'm wrong. But we, uh, we're we not going to get this in Elite form, I don't think. And we do have the Elite 110 Theory that is coming. Hopefully, you guys know that I'm usually last to get mine, unfortunately. So we will have to wait on that. I imagine my Elite 110 will arrive tomorrow. And if it arrives tomorrow, then the first review will go up on Tuesday morning, and we're going to start that off. You can let me know. What do you want to see? You want to see Roman Reigns, Theory. You want to see, you know, Rhea Ripley and whoever. I think Roman Reigns is definitely going first, but we'll see. But I am happy to get this pack. You know, we'll probably fix up some Austin, uh, some other Austin theories and such. And, you know, it's a cool pack. It's a pretty cool pack. I was there in person to witness this match. Even though this match was terrible and Theory shouldn't have won, made no sense. I just... 
I think that if anything, Cena should have went over because, I mean, this man did nothing afterwards. It was just a, oh man, I hope it's something we can look back on and say, I'm glad they did do that decision. But right now, it doesn't look very good. But there is uh, a championship showdown pack that we got. I also got some other stuff. Now, this is one of the figures I picked up from Mercari. But one thing that's interesting about this John Cena that we picked up, this Deluxe Aggression Jacks John Cena, you'll notice that the shoes are molded in white and they have the black designs on them. This is the limited edition pre-production run of the Deluxe Aggression John Cena. And this is actually very difficult to find, especially in good condition. This figure is in immaculate condition, but I'm kind of on the fence and I'm a little bit, I don't know, torn, I guess you could say, because I really want to put this onto an Elite. I want to take these shoes off and put them onto of one of my baseball jersey John Cena's or I think I would want to put these shoes on my John Cena baseball jersey you know chain gang jersey there but I don't think that I don't know if that's why because this figure is in such good condition I kind of just want to set him aside how he is because it's such a great figure I mean this this guy has perfect paint apps I think that the like the ab crunch is super tight it's like this guy was just removed out of the packaging so I'm kind of on the fence there but the shoes look very clean I don't know if I want to put those onto an actual elite and fix it up Maybe we wait for Action Figure Surgery Episode 100 or something like that because my current John Cena... Let me just show you. Let me just give you a second there. So here's my current baseball chain gang soldier jersey custom John Cena fix up. And you'll see the shoes are white. And I tried to acetone all the designs off that I possibly could. But you can see there's still some like brown leaking through. And it just doesn't look as clean as it could possibly look. But if you were to put these shoes on there, man, these shoes, how clean those look. And you put those onto this figure, that would be absolutely perfect so i don't know what i should do there but i'm very happy to have this figure been searching it out for a very long time again if you find it mint on card it goes for a ton of money really if it's mint on card but finding it loose it's just difficult to find it loose any john cena deluxe aggression you find loose is going to just be your typical series one or your typical series eight or whatever the crap it is so now that we have this actual pre-production i've never seen one loose up for grabs and it was up for grabs for like 20 bucks so I did grab that. I was very pumped to find that figure there. So that is our recent pickup there. Need to make a short on that figure there. But uh, I need to know. I need to know if I should fix it up with this. I just, I think this looks immaculate, but the shoes are all, you know, dirty and whatnot. So I definitely want to do something with it. I am going to have a whatnot stream coming this coming up weekend, I do believe. I don't know what exact day, but we will have some specified details in some of the reviews that are coming up this coming week. So just stay tuned for that, man. But I am getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel, man. Appreciate all those fellas. All you guys are absolutely incredible. Thankful for you every single day of the week. But anyways, man, I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.